the Christmas season was in full swing, and the engines on Sodor were very busy. Sodor, like many other heritage railways, have Santa Specials. The Santa Specials is a special train service that gives the children a chance to meet Santa and his elves before Christmas. These specials also often give the adults a mince pie and hot chocolate. The engines at Great Warrington were getting ready for the day's work when Miss Sally arrived. As you all know, the Santa specials start today. I will need you all to be decorated with Christmas decorations to make the trains extra special. I also sorted out which engine will pull the first train of the season, and that engine will be Alfred. Thank you, Miss Sally. I be honored. Why does Alfred get to go first? Not that I have a problem or anything, but I was hoping I would go first. Well, Alfred was number one on our old railway, so it does make a low sense for him to go first. Don't worry, Flora. You'll get a turn soon. I hope soon will be the next train. Alfred, your train will leave in one hour, so let's get you decorated. The workmen came to decorate Alfred. They put antlers around his smoke box, tinsel around his boiler, and wreaths near his cab. Alfred got more and more excited. Am I ready to go now? Don't be impatient, Alfred. Wait until everything is ready. Alfred waited and waited until finally everything was ready. Alfred whistled excitedly as he quickly made his way to the station. Where his coaches were waiting. Is it time to go yet, Miss Sally? Not yet, Alfred. They still need to finish loading the refreshments. Soon, all the refreshments were loaded onto the train. Everyone got on board. The guard blew his whistle, and Alfred started off. All aboard! The Christmas train is now heading off. Alfred powered down the line. He was enjoying himself very much. But then suddenly, the guard screwed the brakes on in the brake coach, and Alfred's train came to a halt. What's wrong? We were going so well. Miss Sally is relying on me to keep the passengers happy. Alfred's driver climbed down from the footplate and met the guard. What seems to be the matter? We've run out hot chocolates for the adults. So what's the problem? The problem is, is that it was advertised that the adults would get a hot chocolate in the refreshment coach, and if they don't get one, they will complain, and Miss Sally won't be happy. That's true. We don't want Miss Sally to be cross. There is another train due soon, but that's a service train. Yes, but they carry extra supplies that they take to the station. We'll just have to sit here until the train arrives. So they did just that. They waited for the service train. All the stewards on the train were trying to keep the parents and children happy, but the children were growing impatient, and they wanted to meet Santa. How long will we be stuck here? Be patient, Alfred. The train will be along soon. Alfred didn't say a word, but he was still impatient. At last, they could hear the sound of an engine puffing. That must be the train. Is that Flora? And indeed, it was. Alfred, it's not like you to leave something behind. I am surprised. It wasn't my fault. The station staff must have forgot to load enough in. Don't worry, we have enough hot chocolate to last you the rest of the way. Soon, the hot chocolate was loaded onto Alfred's train. Bye, Alfred. Take care now. Goodbye, Flora, and thank you. Alfred was on his way again and went as fast as he could. He made it to Nafford Station, where the children would meet Santa. When he arrived back at Great Warrington, Miss Sally was waiting for him. Oh dear, what will she say? But Miss Sally was smiling. 
Alfred, I am very proud of you. Even when you had a problem with the hot chocolate, you still managed to make it shine, and all the passengers seemed very happy with the service. The children loved seeing Santa. Thank you, Miss Sally. Apart from waiting, it was a lot of fun. For the next few days, all the engines of Great Wharton had a turn of pulling the Santa Claus special, and without any further problems. It was now Christmas Eve, and as a reward for all of their hard work, Miss Sally decided to throw a special Christmas party at the sheds. Everyone was having a lot of fun. Miss Sally soon grabbed everyone's attention. It gives me great pleasure to say that you have all been really useful throughout the year, and this party is my way of saying thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone, and to all a good night.